Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The sideshow crackdown continues. This one was spotted in South Sacramento over the weekend. At least 100 cars were reportedly seen near Mack Road and Valley High Drive. Officials say they had warrants to seize at least five cars, which were part of a previous sideshow. Vacaville police are searching for a suspect in a mail theft case. Last Friday, they got word of two individuals breaking into a community mailbox along Syracuse Circle. Officers were able to arrest one woman hiding in some bushes. They also found two backpacks with notebooks and mail containing names, social security numbers, and addresses. Some 900 earthquakes have shaken southern Iceland just today. More signs of what could be a significant volcanic eruption. Close to 4,000 people have been evacuated from the area near the volcano. The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday released a formal code of conduct for the justices, responding to years of criticism that the nation's highest court does not have transparent or enforceable ethics guidelines. All nine current justices signed the code. Republican Senator Tim Scott is the latest to suspend his 2024 bid for president. Scott entered the race with more cash than most other Republican candidates, but struggled with low poll numbers. In Houston, a man's being praised after saving an injured officer. After an officer was shot in the leg during a shootout, John Lally pulled the officer by the vest behind a car and stayed with him until help arrived. Banks on the payment app Zelle are refunding victims of imposter scams. Lawmakers say people were duped into sending money to scammers claiming to be from a government agency, bank, or existing service provider. AAA says nearly 56 million people nationwide are expected to travel over the upcoming holiday weekend. That's about 2% more than last year and the third largest Thanksgiving travel volume since 2001. California is set to break a record with more than 7 million residents planning holiday getaways. You may not see some Christmas trees at farms in parts of the country this year. Experts say it's because of a shortage due to drought and the Canadian wildfires. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in New York City. This year's Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is now on display. The 80-foot tall Norway spruce has a 43-foot diameter and weighs 12 tons. It'll be wrapped with 50,000 lights. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.